The historical vintage and classic cars museum opened the first ever racing track in the country, located within the museum's premises in Schwich area. The event was marked with the largest ever vintage modern and souped up cars and motorcycle parade that set off from Jumeirah Beach Hotel in Mesila, all the way down the Arabian Gulf Road and arrived at the museum where hundreds of automotive sports fans were awaiting their arrival. Sarah Glove has more in this report from the museum. To mark the start of the new automotive sports season, the historical vintage and classic cars museum made history in Kuwait as it opened the first ever racing track in the country called the Serb Circuit. Today is a, a motorsport celebration, I can say. This is the, uh, the last edition of uh, completion of the uh, museum. This is uh, the third venue. We have three venues inside the museum, which is the exhibition room, the mu which is the museum itself. It holds around 330 cars. And then we have the driving school, the kids' driving school. And now this one, which is a playground for all, uh, all the uh, motorsport enthusiasts and all the champions, or all the champions, of course, and future champions, hopefully. It's a track an approved track by FIA, the Federation of International Automobiles. And uh, it's a special venue because everybody was waiting, everybody who loves cars was waiting for something like this to happen. And uh, we are very, very proud that, uh, that uh, uh, His Highness uh, gave us this amazing, amazing gift. Of course, all of this and all of the museum activities are sponsored and funded by uh, His Highness Sheikh Nasser Mohammed. Uh, and we really cannot thank him enough uh, for, for all of, for all of his, uh, his efforts and all of what he is doing for the youth who and his his uh, his uh, 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 children we can say uh, uh, for all, uh, who who love motorsport who love cars in general. The museum had planned a day packed with events, involving all segments and groups from Kuwait's motorsports community and invited international, local and regional champions to take part. We did a demonstration with the go-karts and also with a, I'm going to do a small demonstration a bit later with a mini, a drift with a mini uh, with a front wheel drive which is quite special. I think it's great, uh, I think it was missing um, and I think this strike should be the first step and there should be one or two more. Uh, I think Kuwait has a real passion for motorsport and it shows from all the enthusiasts around the track and even all the racers, uh, all the local base of racers is big. Uh, so I think it was necessary to have a track uh, because it's much safer to race on a track than on the road. And uh, I think people will enjoy it. And uh, the beauty of this track is that anyone will be able to come and participate from karting to cars. So I think it will uh, give a feeling of motorsport to all the Kuwaitis and uh, I think it was really necessary to have a track. The track is a major achievement for the motorsports industry in Kuwait since the only track that previously existed was the Great Quarter Mile during the 1970s and 80s and has been closed since. And that was a 200 meter run tarmac and not even a full quarter mile. Actually this is a, dr a, tree, a, a, a dream come true that we have a circuit uh, today for uh, karting and drifting. Of course, uh, this is, will give us a chance to have more uh, talent drivers to, to have some uh, uh, chances to present Kuwait inside and outside Kuwait. And uh, of course, there is a champions and there is a, a lot of drivers uh, being on other uh, uh, countries, but they don't have the chance to practice. So now we have our field, so they will be much better in the future. The public turned out in their hundreds to support and watch the participants have the time of their life, flaunting their driving, drifting and racing skills. Following much anticipation, the Kuwait motorsports community celebrated the opening of the first ever racing track in the country, making every car driver and enthusiast stream come true. From the historical vintage and classic cars museum, this is Sarah Glub reporting for English News.